The Empty House Next Door, written by Phyllis Archer, narrated by Sunshine Rogers. A personal note from the author. I just want to say thank you so much for choosing my book to read. It is so exciting to know that we do have a friend in Jesus. But if you don't know him as your friend, all you have to do right now is bow your head and repeat these words. Jesus, forgive me of my sins and come into my heart. I want you to be my best friend forever. Thank you, Jesus, for hearing my prayer. Amen. Now we are all friends with our best friend forever, Jesus. Phyllis Archer. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth on him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Kevin was a popular kid. He lived in a neighborhood where he had a lot of friends. There was always something to do. They played football, basketball, video games, and watched movies. It was always fun hanging out with his friends. But as time passed, things began to change. Kevin noticed that one by one, all his friends started to move away. Even his very best friend that lived next door. Kevin was very sad and he felt all alone. Day after day, he would look at the empty house next door. Oh, how he wished his best friend still lived there. One afternoon, he was sitting on his porch steps, tossing a baseball up in the air, when he saw a huge truck pull up. People were in the car behind the truck. When they got out of the car, the first thing Kevin noticed was the way they were dressed. He thought to himself, wow, they sure can't be from anywhere around here. He wondered where they were from. So he watched to see where they were going. Much to his surprise, they walked right up to the empty house next door. All of a sudden, he saw a boy around his age running up to the house too. Now this boy really caught Kevin's attention because he was wearing a robe and sandals and had long hair. Kevin thought, he sure is different. He sat and watched the family as they moved their things into the house. Later that night, lying on his bed, Kevin thought, I wonder who the boy is and where he's from. I've never seen anybody dressed like that except in the movies. Then he fell asleep. Standing at the window, Kevin would watch the boy next door. He never saw him with a football, a basketball, or anything in his hand that he thought was fun to play with. Instead, the only thing the boy had in his hands was a saw or a tool and some wood. Hmm. The boy next door was always making something. Every night, Kevin would lay in his bed thinking about the boy next door. Who is he? And where is he from? Kevin thought to himself. Tomorrow, I'm going over there. 
So the next morning, he got up, put on his shorts, his t-shirt, his tennis shoes, and threw on his baseball cap, and off he went to the house next door. Kevin knocked on the front door and waited. When the door opened, a nice lady was standing there. Yes, she said. Quick with excitement, he said, Hi, my name is Kevin. I live next door, and I was wondering if your son can come out to play. She smiled at Kevin and said, Wait just one minute and I'll call him. Jesus, Come here, please. There is someone who wants to see you. When Jesus came to the door, she said, This is Kevin. He lives next door, and he wants you to go out and play with him. Jesus said, Sure. So as the two boys were walking, Jesus said, What do you want to play? Kevin answered, Well, we can pass the football, or shoot some hoops, or even go inside and play video games. It really doesn't matter. I just like to have fun. Jesus said, Kevin, I have never passed a football or shot any hoops. And what are video games? Kevin stood there confused. How old are you? Jesus said, I'm 12. Kevin said, well, I'm 12 too. I can't believe that you've never played football or basketball and you don't even know what video games are. You're kidding me, right? Jesus smiled. No, I have never played those games. They are so much fun, especially if you have friends to play with. I used to have a lot of friends to play with, but they all moved away. Now, I don't have anybody. Jesus just listened. Kevin said, I've been watching you every day out in your backyard, sawing and hammering stuff. What's up with that? Jesus said, I just really like making things. Hoping he wouldn't hurt Jesus' feelings, Kevin asked, Why do you dress like that? Jesus answered, Where I'm from, it is our custom to dress this way. Kevin said, So where are you from? I'm from Nazareth, Jesus told Kevin. It's a long way from here. He looked at Jesus and thought for a minute. Oh yeah, I think I've heard something about that place. Anyway, it sounds familiar. Well, why did you move here? Kevin asked. Jesus said, My father said something about me having a job to do for him. Where is your dad? I haven't seen him once since you moved in. Jesus answered, He's away. And as soon as my job is done here, I'm going to go live with him. Kevin's face turned sad. Why are you so sad? Jesus asked. I really miss all my friends. We grew up together, played together. We did everything together, but now they all are gone. They moved away. With a frown on his face, he said, But then you moved in, and one day you're going to move too. All I really want is a friend. Jesus said, Kevin, I may not know how to play the games you play, but I'll be your friend in other ways. When I do go away to be with my father, I will be coming back again. And you will see me, I promise. 
So come on, Kevin. Now that we are friends, let's have some fun. Teach me how to pass a football, and I want to shoot some basketball hoops. I'm even willing to learn about your video games," Jesus said with a big smile. Kevin excitedly said, "Yes, that's what I'm talking about." Then he gave Jesus his first high five. This has been the empty house next door, written by Phyllis Archer, narrated by Sunshine Rogers.